Okay, boy, I want you to get inside of this tiny ball and be my slave who I use for battling for the rest of time. It never works if you ask them politely. Okay, so I know I'm a little bit late with commenting on this, even though the news only came out a week ago, but the fact of the matter is, media is consumed so rapidly on the internet that things do become old news in about a week. But, regardless, I thought it, this was worth me commenting on. So, last week Nintendo did a Pokemon Nin Nintendo Direct, in which they announced the seventh generation of games, Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon versions. And people are blowing up about this, oh my word, there's so, so much hype going around the internet, and literally all they've done is announce the titles. We got brief glimpses of what's going to be in the game, like in the Nintendo Direct, but it wasn't a lot, but already people are going nuts, people are analysing the brief flashes we got to see if they can theorise what's going to happen, and <laughs> oh my, oh my words, people are getting hyped for this. But it simply amazes me, all Nintendo have to do is give you a title in a franchise of games that really is pretty much the same thing every single time, except with slight alterations to make it feel a bit new. And people will blow up about it and get super hyped just on hearing the name. Can Microsoft and Sony honestly make the same claim that they can do that? Oh. Wait. I don't really know that there's anything I can say that will really add anything of value to what people are already saying about the game, except... Uh, I'm excited that we're going to be getting these games, and I look forward to hearing more information on them and what the new features are going to be. I am curious about that though, I mean, how are they going to build upon a foundation which really, in my opinion, is pretty much at its pinnacle at the moment? I mean, how do you take a step up from Mega Evolution? Are we going to have Super Mega Evolution or something ridiculous like that? What, we do the Mega Evolution and then we take a key and stick that into the Mega Evolution stone and then our Pokémon become pirate versions? Actually, that would be freaking awesome! I want that to be a thing now! That would be amazing! Just because of that idea, when I eventually get one of these games, I'm gonna name my starter Captain Marvelous, just because of that. I doubt that will fit, but at the very least I'm calling him Marvelous. But yeah, I am looking forward to this, and I'm looking forward to seeing all the new designs of Pokémon that they come up with, and then seeing that one design that isn't as good as the others, and then everybody jumps on it and saying, Oh, they're all out of ideas! One Pokémon doesn't look as good as the others, so they're all out of ideas! Oh, they can't think of anything new and fresh! All the, all the rest of the new ones they've added that look really cool don't matter, apparently. I'd like to point out, one of the Pokémon we got in Generation 1 was a freaking magnet! <laughs> I'm just saying! I do have to ponder though, if we're getting Sun and Moon version, does that mean that the third version of these games is going to be Pokemon Twilight? I expect to see tons of people posting images of Pokemon Twilight version, complete with pictures of Edward Cullen now. I know how the internet works. <laughs> Now, if they would just make the announcement for an English version of Great Detective Pikachu, I would be all set. Seriously, I'm more hyped about this than I am about Sun and Moon. This looks freaking amazing. This is the greatest idea Nintendo have ever had, ever. Seriously, if you don't know what this is, look it up. It's freaking, it's freaking amazing. Oh, but if you do do an English version, Detective Pikachu has to be voiced by the same person who did the voice of... Professor Layton. I will not accept anybody else. He has to have the same voice as Professor Layton, because if he doesn't, it's going to be terrible. <laughs> you know what the internet's like if the, vo if the voice acting's not what you want it to be, therefore it's a terrible game. You know, you've seen it. Do let me know in the comment section what your thoughts on Pokemon Sun and Moon are, and also let me know what your favourite Pokemon type is. As always, if you like this video, please thumbs up it and share it with your friends. And if you're new here and you want to see more antics from me, please do hit that subscribe button. Make sure to also follow me on Twitter as well, there will be a link to it in the description. Until next time, I am signing off!